Hey guys, this is Michelle Pesco Salido, and I just wanted to share with you quickly what I'm actually doing. Um, so I'm sitting down this morning and um, you know going through our blog, thinking, okay, what articles do we want to post? Um, because we obviously build our business online, you know, using Facebook. So one of the things that um, I'm doing right now is I'm actually using a tool called Post Planner. So let me just go over to my fan page here. So one of the things that um, I've been using Post Planner for for almost a year now is I will upload a lot of our um, images to Facebook and um, have them go out on a regular basis. So I'll have images like inspirational, motivational images. It's one part of our marketing strategy. I will have them going out and scheduled out for almost like um, you know a month, two months, three months. And I pretty much will upload all the images or I'll use the images that are in the Post Planner library. And um, you can see, like you guys, if you came to my page, you wouldn't see that it was published by Post Planner, but this is what you would see. And um, it doesn't have a link back to anyone else, but you're basically sharing everyone else's images. Because basically what you can do is you can unclick a box in Post Planner and say, you know, don't share where this came from. But the reason why I'm making this video is I've used Post Planner for a very long time um, to get, you know, increased engagement on our page um, through a lot of these motivational images and things. But what I just realized that Post Planner does, which is really, really cool, is they will allow you now to recycle your content. So what I'm doing, and the reason why I'm making this video, because I want to share this really cool trick with you, is I'm going through our blog, and I'm just, you know, there's a lot of great articles on here that sometimes just get buried under the rug, and uh, people come to our blog, and they're coming in either to it from a Facebook ad, or we've emailed our list, and they're coming to our blog, and they're just seeing the, re the article that we're promoting, that most recent an article and they're not going back and seeing all the amazing pieces of content that we already have on our blog. So here's how I'm using Post Planner for this and, and I wanted to share this tip with you because I know it can really help you too. It's kind of one of those set it up and forget it strategies that's going to um, get you more leads, get you more traffic to your site. So um, let's just use this one for example. So increase YouTube views. So I'm going through every single blog post starting in our most recent and I'm taking the URL right here. I'm coming over to Post Planner and I'm pasting it right here. And then what I'm doing is, is I'm basically taking um, the title because I always like to put the title. So I'm just basically creating a status update that's going to go out um, at the scheduled time that I actually have the scheduled. Uh, this isn't really a tutorial for Post Planner. Post Planner has an amazing videos to show you how, but I'm just showing the power of this tool and it's so affordable but like I have a plan set up here so when do links go out on my page when do images go out on my page when do videos go out on my page or not videos but um, other types of status updates go out on my page I've got that set up on each one of our pages and our Twitter account um, to go out uh, you know anytime I post something it'll just go out at the time that I have these scheduled so let me go back to this blog post and show you what I'm talking about so I'll write the title there and then let's see would you like to increase YouTube View so you can build your brand awareness. Uh, let's also okay. So basically, I'm just going to copy all this because it's teeing it up um, for what this is about. So I'm pasting it there. Nothing fancy. Just basically, you know, writing a status update, letting people know when they see this in their newsfeed. Increase YouTube views. Six uh, tips for better videos. Asking a question. A little bit of content here. Um, and then we've got the link. Now I'm going to uncheck the share bar. This is a whole nother feature. When you share websites, you can have like call to actions on other people's website websites. This is really cool. But since this is our website, we don't need that call to action. So I'm unchecking it. But here's the cool thing. I click this recycle on and then I add this to the plan. So this is going out on all these pages right here. So two of these are groups and four or five of those are fan pages. So as you can see, I've been doing this um, and setting all this up. So what's gonna happen is, you can see all these are the same blog posts, right? So what's gonna happen is, is once these post out at the scheduled time, so whenever I have told in the plan that I want you to post a link, it will kick out. It will go back in, in what we call recycle mode, and go to the bottom and kick back out again when the next available link comes up. So I'm going to end up just posting probably about 20 or 30 of our, you know, recent blog posts or shoot, you can post every single blog post from your blog into Post Planner and I only have to do it once and it will recycle through and post in the next available slot 
which you have set up in your plan. So it's really cool. I mean, you can see I have 974 posts already planned out to go out on our fan page. That is crazy. That is so crazy. So right now this says no time slot because I don't think I have links set up right now on a couple of these pages. So I'm gonna actually set that up in a second here. But once I do that, these will activate. And um, I will have content pretty much you know, running on um, our fan page. I don't know how I ended up there. But let's go to our fan page and um, in our groups and in our fan page that will kick out automatically. And all I need to do, I don't have to worry about posting for like three or four months. Heck, you can even schedule this out for a year. But all I need to do is just come back in, you know, once a day or every other day and just kind of see if there's any comments on these things and like their comments just to let them know, you know, that I'm seeing that they're, you know, what they're saying or, you know, reply to them or interact. But this is a great way. And this, this strategy really increases your engagement on your page. You'll start to get more people reached through your content that you're posting when you do this on a regular basis. And I love Post Planner. I love it because you can come in here and um, they have a ton of images already set up, ready for you to share that you can use. Um, you can look for engaging, interesting, funny business. You can go to other people's Instagram accounts and use their images. There's so much available in this. So if you're ever stuck on what to post, I highly recommend Post Planner. But again, you know, there's a lot of strategies we use with Post Planner, but this is a new one um, that we are starting to implement today to get all of these blog posts out and in front of our audience on a regular basis because not everybody's going to see it if we post it today. So maybe they'll see it again when it posts the next time. And the cool thing is, is you can run Facebook ads to these status updates. So I hope you liked this little strategy. Just kind of wanted to take you inside our business so you can see exactly what we're doing. So um, if you like this training, be sure to like it and share it with your business friends or your friends. And um, I will see you in the next training video. Bye-bye.